Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel and today we're jumping in some more cash games. But before we do, I do have to showcase a gift we have received for the channel. So you guys know my buddy Hunted on Poker Stars Michigan has the avatar of me in a Michigan hat due to me losing a bet. So despite being a Michigan State fan, as you guys can clearly see by the shirt, I've received a fat head of this image. You get an idea of just how big it is, me with the Michigan hat. So, um, obviously not a fan of me in a Michigan hats, but I think we do have to respect a good troll job. So I do want to show this on stream and we'll throw it in the background for one day. I don't think I want to do this a lifetime, but we'll throw it in the, in the background of the display at four, one session. So opening is king here, couple calls, flop and top hair. Yeah, I was trying to bet third at minimum. All right. So this player raises, <laughs> um, a call I'm trying to think here this gets a little wacky i think i'm gonna call here and then check jam turns that aren't a diamond uh, sadly we see a diamond not a good turn uh go ahead and check here if this player bets and this player gets in i think we still call but we could see some like tight river folds potentially it's so weird because it gets thrown off because of the play with the uh jack river not great because we now lose ace jack as played though with the weird line of ace king getting three to one we'll call Uh, player raises and now we're just gonna fold so again this whole hand got thrown out of whack because of the, the five dollar bet on the flop instead of third but i think it's played here if this player is going to raise river particularly this player is laying out a little bit back we just start fold leave them small one open three betting ten nine suited see the four bet line we're gonna go ahead and call Swap two pair, very nice. Pretty wet board too. So if he does any betting, we probably just rip it. Would be my guess on this wet of a board. If he checks, we definitely bet. So we don't want a turn card that comes that kills action versus big hands, and then also here's him. So if he has like, I wouldn't be shocked if he like check jams like ace and kings here some too. So we're gonna go for the small size. Rooting for check jam. Just calls four turn. Pick up the spade draw. Again, with the board being so wet, I don't think we want to slow play this here. I think we just jam here, hoping he has the overpair still. Or hand like an ace-10 suited or something like that. So we'll be all in. More so that we're worried about like him getting a bad river for him to continue with than like for us. Uh, we do see a turn fold though. Open on the gun, big line three bet, flatting nines in position, flop a set, king nine six, running pretty good against game time at the moment. I'm uh, just gonna call here. And then potentially jam some turns if he bets. Um, bets 123. I'm trying to think. I think I'm actually going to change my mind and just call. I hope it's not a heart, but we'll call Deuce River. Great run out here. And sadly checks now. So I maybe should have just jammed the turn. But as played, we'll jam river. Snap folds, we take it down. Here we open Jack's button calls, flop the over pair. Uh, check, check, we're gonna go ahead and bet turn. Get raised, just gonna play as a call, but definitely scared. Even though I know our hand seems a little under -repped. Near river check. If they do any betting here, we're folding. We're just good. I'm really curious what they had. Uh, Jack's good versus 3 2, so they just turn their 2 into a bluff. Open, we 3 bet pretty quickly, get 4 bet. We're just gonna flat here. Uh, pretty good flop, seven six two. We flop flush draw. Just gonna be jamming over the sixty five dollar bets. Snapped off by kings thirty six percent. I was hoping we'd have at least an over card. We don't. Good news though, we're running good today versus game time and spike the flush on the river. All right, open king five suited. Get called by the button. Pretty fun flop. We're probably just gonna check raise to go with here. Um, so check check. Check turn to check call now, and there's only one card to go. 
there were two pair check jamming if they bet so they snap check back we're good uh king five good versus ace high so we're good all the way raise 10 8 here get called flop the open under will bet see the call six turn I'm going to half hot the turn versus their stack. In a river. Um, having a club here, I think I'm going to give up. I, if I had 10-8, no club, I might jam this one. Blocking like 10-9. Well, but with a club, I think I want to check fold. Okay, small blind opens here. Call the jack nine. Um, Overcard and gutter goes for a big size. We'll just play as a call. Uh, six on the turn. Again, I think get to call here with the intention to bluff some rivers, and then obviously like the jack can be good too sometimes when we hit. Um, I think this will be a river that we bluff if chuck two. I'm having a heart and blocking 9-8, and I think I'm going to use this as a bluff jam as well. Now I don't have a boat blocker, which is bad. Yeah, we're going to go for the jam. So I can probably, what's my value jam range? Like king, even like the queen high flush. I don't know, We're it's a little bit big to jam. Um, but I think I still mainly like it. So if I were to call, it's like 88, like 260 in there. Yeah, it's a big jam. I'm gonna wanna take a look at it and see if that was the right combo and then also the right size, but glad we got it through. Here's one queen nine suited, get called, five, five, three. Small. Turn eight. I'm gonna go ahead and bluff the turn here. This is if I'm doing this all the time, probably too much. You see the call river nine. <laughs> so that's gonna check back river. I think now we actually value at it. Um not perfect is like six seven, I think is a very reasonable hand. Flops the gutter, turns the open under, it gets there, but I think we're missing out too much value here if we don't triple. It's a pretty close to the bottom of my triple range value, and we do see the fold. Queen 10 suited. We're gonna open flat. We're gonna call. X through turn two pair. We'll go ahead and bet now. Get raised. Uh, this line exactly scares me for tens, but obviously there's only two remaining tens in the deck. Just gonna be a call. Uh, as far as what we don't want to see coming, it'll be like King Jack and Jack Nine, since there's no flush draws. The straight draws be the obvious ones. King Jack does come in um, as played, unless we see some like absurd size. The plan is just going to be to call though. Pretty bad river. Ends up just checking. We're good. I'm really curious here to have ten seven. Okay, so I raised the second pair. Of the turn, so we're good. Turn two pair here. So call flop. That turn. And then Queen River. Please don't show Ace Queen or Queen 10. I think it's still a pot size bet for value, but it's not the cleanest river in the world. Not to worry about like King Jack. A lot of times people will bet those instead of check column, but we do have to worry about some like Ace, Ace Queen bets turn, I think, a lot though. Uh, so mainly, I guess, more Queen 10, Queen 9. Pocket Queens. Oh, here, just hoping he has like an ace. Uh, he does jam, so annoying. Oh man, so like I do think he's capable of like finding some sick bluffs here. So like if he has like say Jack Ten, that's a really great bluff because um, he's gonna block straights in two pairs. Um, I mean I hate folding this, but I I do think we do. Like I said, not as much worry about the straight. I mean to be fair, I don't know if he has Queen Ten jamming here. Maybe he had a tight tight turn check with Ace Queen. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna let me think of this one. I mean, I have a minute and a half of time bank, so like I said, my thoughts are he's not gonna check call King Jack. Maybe he decides to get tricky with it. I mean, queens, I think the set of queens is probably the thing we're most worried about. Like I said, I think he bets ace queen on the turn mostly, but he maybe can check up. I think mainly betting though. Uh, so obviously, lose to queens. I don't think he jams queen 10 here. 
Uh, I'd really have to hope he has exactly Jack 10, but obviously we have a 10. I'm gonna let it go, but I don't like it. So this player is off 24 blinds when we threw that, I think we just jam. Put it all in. Snap calls. Ugh, queens. Sad for that stack depth. I guess at least our fortune, they're not super deep. Uh, do turn the club draw, unfortunately. Don't get there on the river. Uh, button open here, three bet jacks. See the four bets. Uh, 100 blinds deep, just gonna be a jam, small one wrist button here. Snap calls, has kings, hate to see it. You have spade coverage. Ooh, wow, runner, runner straight. All right, so if anyone's wondering how good we're running today, that was the hand to show you. Running good. Pretty standard to get in there, but obviously just run insanely well. Oh my gosh, so we opened three bets. Player rips it in. We have the aces. Let's see if anybody else gets in. Hold, baby, hold. Lord Dennis, get in the mix. Oh my gosh, three all in hold. Ace, king, queens, just hold. Let's go. Three way all in. Aces, ship it. Woo, up to 1.5. All right, YouTube, that wraps up a massive day in the cash game streets at 2.5. So we played for five hours and mix of 500 NL, 200, and 100 in the 500 game, plus 3,313. In the 200 game, minus 612. In the 100 game, minus 364. Total profit of the day, plus $2,337. Um, ran extremely well at 500 as games, as you guys saw. So nice to book the big win there. I uh, hope you enjoyed the hands and the video today. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.